Hey guys, so I finally made it out to Shine Girl. Um, we're about to go in, so let's go see what they have. Now you guys are all right. Home. So we just did shots. No, it's really good. No. She just had it. Really um, actually, okay. So we just did the moon sign shots, and now I'm trying to decide which moon sign that I want. Um, I think I'm gonna go with lavender because I haven't seen lavender anywhere before, and it's pretty dang good. Right. It's, a long, it's a long road to get to here. Okay, yeah. why though? Like um, licensing, um, getting everything through the ATF, okay. getting labels approved, getting recipes approved, okay. uh, logistics, yeah. getting a building, right. getting a still. Mm -hmm. uh, everything costs money. Right. And, then, and then there was one point in there where there was some, some legal issues with, with some things being spent, a lot of money spent on some legal things. Mm -hmm. It took a long road to get to here. Yeah. Um, I've been just supporting her the whole time. Yeah. That's all what I do. Um, but this has been her dream to do, and this is our family, some of our family recipes. Oh, cool. So it's it's been carried through. You have to understand that in Sevier County, it was a small area. You know, we 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 weren't always the tourist mecca. Yeah, okay? it was a tourist mecca. Well, awesome. my great uncle Ray Nolan was the sheriff here for over twenty years. Okay. His whole job was busting moonshiners. My gr his brother Wayne, what? his brother Wayne was a deputy. Is it was it illegal his, to? Make that's still money? illegal to make moonshine outside of the building. Why? Yeah, because it's illegal to distill in the United States. Oh. Yeah, you have to be federally licensed to distill openly, oh, and and to sell it because we're not getting our tax dollars. Oh. But this, our whole family, including my papa Wiley, were deputies or constables. Okay. Well, the problem is Wiley had a still, and Wiley would make moonshine based on honey, similar to what I had up there that yeah. you tasted, I do um, to, to make cough medicines and sinus medicines. Yeah, you can also get really good product to drink. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then you got where we got where we would blend the two with, with corn. Yeah. So it makes a really fine product. Okay. Now, not always. So it's okay. it's still technically illegal, right? And and you know during prohibition, up until prohibition, everybody's neighborhood here in Tennessee had a local general store. Mm -hmm. The general store was typically run by the pastor, the local church. Mm -hmm. He also made the moonshine. Okay, so mm -hmm. we so we weren't taught in the South. We weren't taught that this was a bad thing. Right. Until the northern pastors got sent down by the government, it took two years of doing revivals yeah. to try to convince everybody it was evil and it was sin. Oh. Right? That's how prohibition got took over. Yeah. When it was finally during during the whole time, they kept making it, kept selling it. Yeah. And then when it was all over with, mm -hmm. they kept working. So they they repealed it. Liquor stores opened back up, but people are used to drinking the mountain real thing, right. Mountain Yeah. So my uncle during his whole span in the law enforcement was to stop it. I have pictures of 750,000 gallon stills sitting on top of their personal cars because they didn't have a police car then. They had to use their own personal car to be a cop car. Mm -hmm. So I have all these pictures that are, are mm -hmm. treasures. But then there was my grandfather that still tinkered with it, right? Yeah. And my mamma, my grandmother wanted to have it in the house. She made medicine with it. He liked to drink it. Well, down the street, I'm talking a half a mile down the street was Lee Parton's house. Mm -hmm. Lee and Abilie raised, of course, Dolly. Yeah. That was their, her mom and dad. Yeah. Lee liked to boot like a lot. It, you got 12 kids at home, it's an easy way to make a big bunch of money. Yeah. He, he would partake in that. Well, then on the other side of our little community, on my mom's side, mm -hmm. was, was Mayford Oval. Mm -hmm. And Mayford owned a mechanic shop and he boot like. <laughs> And, and then, then up towards Gatlinburg was some Nolan cousins that made a lot of moonshine and they would sell it to these two mm -hmm. and so it was all big one big happy group, yeah. right? Right. And if the moonshiners even run out of their own product, they would have to go buy theirs back from the people they sold it to. Well, when we would have an election, 
there would be local candidates and there would be people giving out little pint jars or half pints that would say vote for whoever. Oh wow. That's and they'd, awesome. So you, you'd have them in a school election yeah. and they go to this guy and get a bottle, that guy and get a bottle. By the time they got done campaigning, they were about drunk when they went in to vote. <laughs> That was the way our elections went for years. Yeah. That That's is awesome. 1974, interesting. I helped campaign the last run my, my great uncle ran for sheriff. Yeah. He lost. Uh, but it was a good thing he did. A couple of years later, he ended up with dementia. So he would have had an office. Yeah. But even at that election, I was 11 at the time, they were still handing out alcohol. They were standing out at moonshine at the election to get votes. So. That's what. That's how long I've been messing with this and hearing the stories. Right. Well, about 15 years ago, I came across recipes in the book, oh. and they're our recipes. And then we talked about it. And then Danielle, after a while, Danielle said, "You know, I've done everything else. You know, she's a secrets. she's a commercial pilot. Okay. She's a military pilot. She's a decorated military pilot, flown Afghanistan and Iraq and everywhere in between. Yeah. South America, Alaska. She's been everywhere. Okay." But then she says, I'm, I've not done this, I want to do this. Well, she's never ridden on her Aunt Dolly's coat test. Yeah. A lot of the family, would, well, they're sitting by just, you know, what can we get? Yeah. Danielle's always took the lead, and she said, I'm going to be my own woman. I'm going to be my own owner. Yeah. I'm going to be my own brand. Yeah. I'm going to do my own thing. I don't need her approval, right? Mm -hmm. Well, in retrospect, that makes her more like her Aunt Dolly than any of them. It does. Right? Even the colors. She likes the pink, Even the though, colors. Just Even like the colors. <laughs> and out of all of them, she looks the most like her. She does. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. If you look at some of the me. early Dolly Parton album covers, mm -hmm. Danielle is spotting it. That picture out there that's on yeah, the wall in the right. corner by the t-shirt looks just like Dolly Parton. When they got ready oh to do God. the statue of Dolly at the courthouse yeah. that everybody takes pictures of, Uh-huh. Danielle went and sat on a rock so that Jim Gray could photograph her and draw her yeah. and paint the initial painting that the sculptor used to make the statue. So to me, that's Danielle sitting on that rock. Yeah. Because she still has the original drawing of her sitting on the rock. Yeah. Right? She does look just like her, so but yeah, she's so, determined like her. So she this has. was her determination to do. Now, yeah. now she's a commercial pilot, of course, flying. Yeah. But she's also stayed in the National Guard, Air National Guard. So now she's a lieutenant colonel in the Air National Guard, and she's over in charge of their, all their information. So she handles the public. Oh, that's cool. So this girl does it all. Yeah. And it's very empowering to other women to meet someone like that. Mm -hmm. okay? yeah. yeah. Everybody, you shouldn't be held down by anything. Yeah. And I'm the biggest pr proponent. I, there's, I've met a lot of women moonshiners mm -hmm. um, that that Patty Bryan is one from down south, and she's she was here this not long ago, and she she makes a fine product, but she's from you know down Louisiana area. Yeah. Um, there's just some fine women involved. Um, uh, Mark Ramsey, who's on Mark and Digger on the on the Moonshine Show. Yeah. Mark's wife has come out with her own brand, so she's she's got peach hitting the shelves now. I watch that show. Do you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I watch it on you. The whole YouTube Masters go, of Stiller show. So we yeah. watch all the old episodes. All last year's shows <laughs> were filmed in this building. Oh. Really? We had that still taken apart and put in the corner. Okay. That's they nice. had two TV sets built in here, two, okay. two movie sets. Okay. The woodshed, when you guys get ready to leave, yeah. drive down the road and pull in the back lot. Uh-huh. The woodshed that they went out to to get all of their, like, flavorings when they yeah. say, take them to the woodshed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. That's it's still you standing can't there. Across the parking lot, we were just over it's there. It's still we standing there. The tour. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. So they filmed wow. it until the the master distillers was over. That's cool. Here. So. 